Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Glow channel. Today we are getting uh, some Mercury Vapor Glow, but not high pressure Mercury Vapor, but low pressure Mercury Vapor. And from these fluorescence here in a West German Trilux fixture, 2 times 20 watt here with 2 times 18 T8 bulbs. So an interesting fact is that actually in West Germany the fluorescent fixtures were very very popular and are still popular today when in other countries they were removed very many years ago and changed for mercury vapor or high pressure sodium. In West Germany they are still very very popular or better to say in the former West Germany. Um, fixtures like this were very popular and uh, let's just uh, see how this fixture is built. Take it apart a little bit and then we will see how it works. So at the top this fixture is uh, kind of nothing special. I'd say it's a standard canopy that is made from stamped uh, steel. And uh, this whole fixture is uh, point welded together. You can see that here. Anything in this fixture is uh, point welded, actually. And um, there are more quality fixtures out there than this one, but it's still pretty much okay. From the quality standpoint, it will hold up very many decades. So that's okay. There is a bowl that's uh, a little bit um, uh, with... Uh, it, it doesn't have refractors, but it has this uh, uh, texture here to uh, spread out the light a little bit and hide the insides from our eyes. I think not really, you can, you can really see the insides in case of this one. And uh, the bowl, interestingly, is held by such a strange contraption here. There's a strap. You can pull on this and release this strap and there's another he down here. And this will actually release the bowl that will be still held in place because here it's a, a kind of a hinge and here there is a contraption that doesn't allow this uh, bowl to fall down when you open it up. Uh, this contraption here is uh, pretty unusual and only Trilux used it and it's actually kind of a pain to open sometimes. I just tried to do it here one handed. You can see it still hangs in there even if it's loose. It's it's actually a good thing. This hinges here, this the straps, they had the tendency to break from UV radiation for uh, after some time from the sun. And they made uh, stainless steel replacements for that, but I don't have it. In this picture it's still pretty much in good shape, so we'll leave it like it is. So you can open up the bowl, it slides a little bit here on this, but it doesn't come out, so the bowl is still secure. And uh, this is how the fixture looks open. And uh, there are the two tubes inside here, it's uh, in this case a little bit older tubes, it's Osram L18 watt slash 25 universal white bulbs. And uh, yeah, these uh, fixtures were more popular on the streets with uh, 40 watt tubes or the U-shaped 65 watt that I will show in other videos. But uh, these existed too. In the Netherlands and other countries, these would usually feature the tubes that had uh, not uh, have to have starters in them, just with the starting stripe, uh, this TL, I believe they were called, but. In Germany, they didn't use the standard. It was always preheat fixture. So um, you don't see the starters yet. You have to open this, uh, this two latches here, and then you can get the fixture open. It's so we've opened up the um, tray, gear tray here. That is also the reflector that is just painted white. And here we have a ballast for 40 watt bulbs. 
because on 220 volts it's no problem to run uh, the two 20 watt tubes in series so that's what is done here actually so when sh when one of the bulbs would fail the other would fail too because it would keep blinking all the time and the starters are here on the inside on the fixture which i do not deem very practical i would prefer them to stick out on the other side so you can change without removing this tray but that's how trilux chose to do it and well it's how they how they actually it's it's a little bit strange of a fixture because here for example there is this connection uh, thing here that allows for a loop that is also pretty strange for a fixture of street light fixture that would not be in a loop usually but uh, would have their connection in the mast and uh, just one uh, cable running up and you have to stick this into the mast but here actually it doesn't fit it has to be a really thin mast arm so it's also really strange how this this the strain relief is done here it's 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 pretty unusual and um, the mounting on the mast is done by these two straps here that are a real pain to install it's just a very strange design it's pushes on these four tabs here when you uh, tighten it and it holds it on the mast. It's a really, really strange design. I have never seen anything like that in another fixture. And uh, usually you have the straps with two screws or something that are way more solid and work way better than this. So, well, uh, it is like it is. Uh, this fixture really was used before. So you, you can see here that it has... Uh, it has been used, but it's still in, in really good shape. And uh, we'll just overlook the few strange features here, I believe. Let's put the fixture back together. Another thing I'd love to show you is the sticker here that says Trilux 9792. That's actually the model and 2 times 20 watt. So this is uh, what the manufacturer calls this fixture actually so we now have put this tray back in and the one tube that I have taken out to show you the sticker now let's just close the bowl again I hope I can do it one handed dealing with this straps is really not a very easy job but we will do our best to get it done I have to help myself with the other hand because it's just really hard and now we can just latch here the one the second let's just put this ends like this and now we can pull to latch it like this and this actually works pretty well so we have the fixture back together I'd say it's the time to fire it up and see how it works let's see if it will blink as it's a pretty fixture okay so it didn't blink very much it just preheated the ends let's try it one more time So it's not a very blink happy fixture. However, it's better for the tubes if they don't blink too much, of course. Every blink takes some life away from the electrode. So in the practical setup, this would be even better. And well, we, we cannot expect from a fixture uh, of this size and of this wattage to be very bright, but I mean for a small street, or for a, and the, these were somehow uh, a lot of times used also for private housing for entrances and actually this fixture came in a set with a uh, like a wall mounting socket too so um, it, it would be ready to be mounted next to a door or over a barn door or something like that and provide some light for the people who come by and uh, this would be the application for this size 
of course the size with the two times uh, 40 watt bulbs in it is already suitable for smaller streets it's like an equivalent for 80 watts uh, mercury vapor i'd say from the lumens so these bigger fixtures uh, they were very popular on the streets too yeah i hope you liked this video that you like this trilux fixture thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye